Welcome back to my channel. This week's ingredient is, as you guys already know, it's Doritos. I am currently using the spicy nacho flavor and cool ranch. In last video, I used the Doritos as breadcrumbs and I made Doritos chicken fingers. And it seems like one of you guys really enjoyed it. Um, but one thing that I wanted to mention about that recipe was that I forgot to mention as I was eating it, but I was, thought, I was thinking in my head, you don't really taste the Doritos that much. Maybe because you deep fry it. Uh, so I want you guys to keep that in mind. Because I don't want you guys to make it and be like, oh, I don't taste the Doritos. Like, well, I didn't either, but it was, I don't know, but the flavor was there, you know what I'm saying? You don't really taste much of the, the actual Doritos when you eat it by yourself, but anyways, today I am making Doritos tacos. So, whew, let's, let me explain this. So when I, you know, I planned ahead and I thought about doing this Dorito series for a long time. And I wanted to make Doritos tacos. Initially, I just wanted to um, crush the Doritos and use it as a topping on my tacos. But I really personally enjoy the soft uh, soft shell. I like the tortilla, right? But until you guys know Tian, oh my gosh, he you guys should check out his channel. But recently, he did this tacos. Uh, he made his own tacos at home. And oh my gosh, he made his own shell. And I thought before I started watching it, I thought he would just you know use toppings and just make his own little thing. But he actually made his own shell with cheese. I was like, oh my god, that is so easy. You know, and once I saw that, you don't really think about making your own shells. I mean, you could like put your own toppings and be creative, but you don't really think about. I don't know. I never thought about making my own shells, and Tian did. And the moment I saw that, I knew that I wanted to change up my tacos recipe. I wanted to add the Doritos with the cheese and make the taco shell, but I am um, layering it up with the tortilla. So I don't know if it's gonna be tacos, burritos, I don't know, but um, you get the point, right? <laughs> so I kind of want to give credit to Tian for kind of like enlightening me that you can make your own shells at home. And I know there are so many different ways, but as far as I know, the cheese one was the easiest. You guys should definitely check out his channel. He is a perfectionist. He is neat. He's so organized. So if you like, I don't know, not just the recipes or like whatever he's eating. It's just so visually so perfect and very pleasing to look at. So you guys should definitely check out his channel. He's been helping me a lot with other stuff too, but uh, maybe I'll mention that later. Um, but yeah, today I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to talk about just random stuff. Let's just get started. Um, so as you guys can see, I already made one layer. I'm gonna keep them flat instead of uh, molding them into half because I am going to layer them on top of the, the tortilla. So this is that. This is going to your shell. Mm, okay. So let this put this guy on the side. So what? Get a parchment paper. Let's make four. Okay. Just better evenly. No. Okay, just doesn't have to be perfect. Just make four rounded. I know it's too bright. Sorry. Okay, and then okay. So that doesn't have to be too even because once the cheese melt, they will stick together. Got some cool ranch and spicy nachos. Um, kind of like not as fine as the breadcrumb. Um, I'm gonna just. Place them on top. Okay. Oh. okay, let's use the cool wrench. Okay, let's see. I actually saw this video of someone making mimicking the Taco Bell Dorito tacos and I don't know I don't think they I, they made it this is my take on it actually and I got the idea from Taco Bell too obviously I forgot to mention that 
but they did it differently. They actually made a dough, I think, and then they put food coloring and all, and like Cajun spice and all other different things. But I don't know. I don't want to go through all that. I think this is easier. Okay, so we have that. On top of this, I'm going to add more cheese so they could all kind of um, stick together and become one, like all of us. How we should all become one. Because at the end of the day, guys, we are all the same. So I don't know why we hate on some people. And I don't know why there's so much hate in this world. I mean, I, I probably sound like a hypocrite because I'm probably one of the most, like one of the bigger haters out there. Because sometimes I just hate everything. Example right now, I'm not in a good mood. <laughs> okay, let me get just more cheese. Just add a little bit more cheese. I'm thinking that I'm making this too thick. So let's just spread them more evenly. So that they'll be a little bit more thin thinner. So I have Cool Ranch, I have spicy nachos, and I'm gonna pop it in the oven for 5 to 10 minutes, keep your eye on it. I want them to kind of burn, but like right before. Um, it's 470 degrees, and I'm gonna set up my little station. Oh, this is actually very good. Mmm. Mmm. So my cheese... Dorito shells are out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool before I'm able to scrape them off. So I'm going to leave them on the side. I ha also have some corn tortilla. Put it on like medium, right? Medium low. And I'm going to make four. Ooh, I think they're actually perfect size. Yeah. It's going to make four. This is very good. I mean, if I want more, I don't have to even add this, this, this. Ah. I could just, um, uh, even if I, if I want more Doritos, I could just add the crumbs that I have left over on the side. On the side, I have some salsa from Jewel Osco. I have some guacamole from Jewel Osco. These are so good. And I have some... Leftover chips. <laughs> They're all shattered. I have extra cheese on the side. And some shredded lettuce. I think that's it. And obviously for today's drink, I have Sprite Zero. I want some right now. I mean, no, please. Oh! forgot about you. Is that good? How long do you have to... Oh my gosh. Oh, that's hot. Okay. Here. Soften it up. Oh, also, I have taco beef. I use the ground beef and the McCormick taco seasoning mix. This was good. Okay, so let's get the. Yes. See? It came out good, no? Let's put it on top of that. Okay. Another one. Oh, this one is big. Holy crap, okay. Doesn't this look, doesn't it look good? Okay, maybe I could start adding some lettuce. I have no idea how I'm gonna eat this. You know what? Maybe no, no, hold on. Okay.
Oh, these are huge. Okay, so let's get some. Okay, let's start with this. Let's fold it in half. <laughs> okay, fold it in half. Okay, let's put some lettuce. Do I put lettuce last? I don't know. Let's add some meat. So I have some salsa here too. Sorry, you guys can see. Um. Voila! Okay. No, I should really get a. Wow. Yeah. Anna, you put this in a hamburger wrap because they're all falling. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more salsa. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. This is so good. Lettuce just to make it a little bit more presentable. Okay, let's try this the cool ranch. I don't think they taste that that'll 
be that significantly different. But let's do some salsa. Salsa is life. Guys, this is so good. Beef. I don't know it's a beef. And then some guac. Yes. This one's gonna be loaded. Is that it? Okay, let's put a little bit more cheese. Ta da! I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Man, you know, Tian had this cool thing, like a rack that you could place the tacos. I wish I had that. Okay, it's going in. Mmm. No! I love guac. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of patience to eat this. I really hate it when food goes, the food goes everywhere. That's why I don't like sandwiches. But this, I think it's worth it. Mmm, it's good. <clears throat> Look how much, I don't know if you can see that, how much spilled in there. Get a new spoon for my toppings. <laughs> what does one have? Oh, this one's gonna be crunchy. Like so. Add some meat.
some salsa. More salsa, yes. We have a beautiful number three. Number three taco. Doritos taco. Mmm. Look at this. Wait, doesn't this look really good? Okay, I'm afraid it's gonna fall, so. Okay, you have to hear the crunch. Mmm. This is so messy. I love clock. No. <clears throat> Some of you guys really need to be nicer to YouTubers. You guys should be nicer. Ah! Ah! It's just, ugh. it's like falling apart. Because right now, I'm already worrying about what you guys are going to say about this mukbang. That's not how you eat it. <clears throat> You're so messy. Mm. And I'm pretty sure <clears throat> a lot of you guys, YouTubers, if you guys are YouTuber. If you create videos, I'm sure you can agree with me. Agree with me? Because if you, let's say you film this thing, and you know that something's off, and right away you think, oh my god, people are going to say this, people are going to say that. I have a pile of food right here. Everything spilling. This is so good. This is very good. Like, I wouldn't know if the yesterday chicken one was better than this. 
because both of them are seriously I don't know something about this I don't know what it's just so good it says there's a little bit of softness crunchiness you know a little bit of flavor a little bit of the kick spicy kick it's probably from the the sauce right I'm thinking and the guac Voila. Okay, let's get another wrap. I don't know how I No, I'm not a smoker and I will never s smoke but sometimes not that I crave it like why would I crave it if I don't have a smoke right but there are just times where I just feel like I want to go outside and smoke isn't that weird? Do you think that's because I'm stressed? But I'm not a smoker, so I can't really crave that. But, you know there are social smokers that only smokes when other people are doing it? I started working. My first job was at a sushi restaurant as a hostess. If you never worked at a restaurant before, let me tell you, 99% of people who works at a restaurant or who's been working there for a long time, they smoke. It's, I mean, every job is stressful, but maybe there's something about working at a restaurant that just calls for smoke cigarette, you know? That was so good. Very short mukbang, huh? No. <clears throat> I'm gonna make one more.
Oh yeah, I have chips. It's not very good. And it's not because... Well, yeah. Well, ever since I started working, I was exposed to more smoking, you know, like environment. Maybe that's why... I don't know. I don't know what affected me, but... Like even like this whole week, maybe because, you know, I'm just going through this magical time of the month. I don't know. I'm sorry that I mentioned it, but it is what it is. This is that is why I am just not in the mood for to do anything. But anyways, it's not that like I want to smoke because other people are smoking. It's more of like, man, like I just want to like I feel like if I smoke, I could let like things out. I don't know, like. Isn't that weird? Cause it's not like I ever smoked before. I mean, I had puffs here and there, but I never actually smoked. I remember when one of my ex-boyfriend, he was a smoker and he left his cigarette at my place. And there was only one left. I don't know why, but I decided to smoke. Maybe I was sad, maybe I was in a fight with him, but I decided to smoke the last cigarette. So I went outside and then, so funny, because I didn't know how to light it. Because you know how you're supposed to light the cigarette and you're supposed to suck it in? But I didn't know how to do it. I kept burning and burning, and eventually, like, the cigarette was gone. So, I didn't know how to smoke that. <laughs> get some Doritos on here. That's good. So, this was my original idea. Just spread the Doritos like that. Meat, some guac, some salsa. Probably is the most messiest mukbang ever. Mm. I never thought I would actually like tacos because my first time, okay, this is very, very unfair, but my first time trying tacos was at school, my elementary school for lunch. <laughs> I mean, they serve shitty food. And I never tried tacos before. And my first time, Finding out, discovering tacos was by a lunch lady in a school lunch cafeteria. And I hated it so much. Like, I didn't understand the taste of it. Like ever since then, I never really tried tacos until 
Ah, ich habe ja sogar. Ah, ich habe ja sogar. Almost three, four years ago. When I first started seeing Tong, him and I went on a double date with one of his good friends. And he took us to. They took me to this place called Big Star in Chicago. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys recognize or like you guys are familiar with this place. It's a tacos place. And oh my gosh, I had the best fish tacos there. And I tasted the real authentic. I don't know if it's, I think it's pretty authentic there. Tacos. And mmm, it was good. So ever since then, I like to, not on, not that I want to go back there all the time, but I don't mind trying like um, good tacos, you know? Like every time, I, like, I think because before I went to ta Whenever I went to Taco Bell before, I never really got tacos. I got like a burrito and what, I don't know why. It's, it's not that different, right? But I just never wanted to try tacos. I just didn't, it, whenever I hear tacos, it didn't sound appetizing to me. But we went to Big Star because they wanted to go there and they're like, oh, they have really good tacos. I'm like, okay, well, I like fish. And I, I think it's the meat that I didn't like. I didn't like the flavor of that. <laughs> But again, that was my cafeteria food, so tacos is really good. And not that more than the flavor itself, you know, I really don't like sandwiches or you know, like tacos is kind of same similar concept. You know, I I don't like things falling out. I don't. That's why. Yeah, that's why I don't really like sandwiches, burgers. Um, uh, usually burgers are a little bit more clean um neater than sandwiches not i'm not talking about gourmet burgers because they can be really messy i'm talking about like mcdonald's big mac or big mac is a little messy but whopper they're so easy you know so yeah <sighs> that was a very short video and i didn't really talk much but i had a good meal i am not too full i am not hungry i am so content and I know that I've been not eating as much. If I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm trying to change a lot of, not a lot of things, but I really don't want to push myself to eat anymore. I know I did before because I felt like I gotta finish everything, I gotta finish everything. But now I just, you know what? I wanna have a really kick ass body. And if I'm always pushing myself to eat more, I'm never gonna, it doesn't matter how much, I felt like no matter how much I worked out, it wouldn't matter because every time I eat, I'm pushing my limit. So, um, I know that I might not be eating as much, but, um, I hope you guys are enjoying all these, um, like cooking and talking and I'm still eating. You guys, I, as long as I'm really enjoying my meal, I think that's what really matters in mukbang. So, I know that... Um, I mean, there's so many other mukbangers now, so if you guys want to see people eat a lot, there's so many other people, so. I, I hope you guys enjoy my contents as, uh, as the way I kind of create them, so. If not, I mean, there are so many other people you guys can watch, so. <laughs> I'm not a food fighter, guys. Um, and I know that I used to because, I know that I used to eat a lot before, but I think everybody's channel will evolve and change a little bit, you know? Like maybe like, I remember this um this Korean guitarist. He's a yeah he's a guitarist and he had a he wanted to create music and all and um he didn't really get far and people asked him like do you want to come in this Korean like variety show? He's a musician but they were inviting to do be funny like you have to be in the show and you get to, you just have to um just kind of be make a fool out of yourself he's, he's like no i'm a musician i don't do that i'm only making music and only music and years after after like you know the years passed and he realized that man I, i'm not putting my name out there nobody's nobody knows who i am therefore they don't get to listen to my good music so I, I think at that point he that's when he decided to just Get, go to every invite in a TV show, like variety. It doesn't matter if it's serious or funny. He's making a fool out of yourself, himself or something like that. 
as long as he gets popular and let people know who he is in order for them to listen to his music. I think that's why, um, oh my god, am I crooked? <sighs> yeah, so I remember him saying that. In the beginning, I was so strict about not doing anything else besides music, but I realized that if music is important to me and I want people to listen to it, I gotta let people know who I am first. So maybe that's what I, I'm not really, I mean, I'm not in the same case as him, but in the beginning, I prepared a lot of food. I got a lot of food because that was, I felt like that was a trend of mukbang. And I thought that that's what, what people only want to see. But my channel kind of grew in a different way. It evolved. I like cooking and eating. So I just don't feel like I need to push myself to eat a lot of food every time. This is what I think. So, And I really like what I do. I really like how I create it. Like the, I really like the amount of cooking, amount of eating, and amount of talking. I really enjoy that. So I'm sorry if this channel is not for you. But you know what? I am very emotional this week. So just please let me be. I know that some people are going to be like, Oh my god, Kimmy is so annoying. I know I'm so annoying right now. Even just talking like this. I really don't like myself for being like this right now, but man, just a lot, a lot of stuff, just a lot of things are going through my head this week, and just today, I'm just, you know, I have crazy mood swings, and I just want to like, okay, so, you know, I spilled this salsa, I like tipped it over, and that moment, I just want to like, be like, fuck this, I don't want to like film this anymore, like, I don't know why. I'm just in such a bad mood. <sighs> I'm in bad mood, guys. What should I do? What should I do? I am in such a bad mood. I should, I should get a tub of ice cream. Yeah, that's what I need. Yep. I mean, I hope a lot of you guys will understand that girls have these days. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys noticed, I have this little red thing over here. I cut myself yesterday. Like, how'd you cut your, like right under your nose? So I have mustache, okay? I have mustache and this is a secret. And I try to, like, Tom makes fun of me all the time that I have mustache. And I hate it. He makes fun of me all the time. So yesterday I was trying to shave it off. I mean, I do shave it off, but sometimes I forget. Um, sometimes I pluck it, sometimes I shave it, sometimes I wax it. But yesterday, I wanted to just like shave it off really quick. And I don't know, maybe it's because I wasn't focusing. I was, I just wasn't paying attention. I was just like, uh, and then pff, I cut myself right here. Oh my god, it did not stop waiting. So, I have a little thing under my nose that looks like a booger. So, yes, I'm going to end the video here. I think I should just seriously stop talking before I go crazy and you guys realize that I am I am bipolar. <laughs> um, Saving all these probably don't love tacos actually so I'm gonna save it for him. Um yeah and you guys know that next video will conclude the Dorito series. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far and if you guys want to win the Kimmy wooden spoon um just by next video let me know what was your favorite give every video a thumbs up and check out my ASMR channel check out Tong Dingy's channel and I'll see you guys next time. Love you bye